TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. This video is for Unit 6 of the TII Technical Education Siemens PLC and HDM, HMI Trainer. In this video, what we're going to do is create tags associated with an input and an output. So what we're going to do is come here to open up TII Portal and set all of the necessary um, settings when we create a new project. So, new project. Save this as Unit 6. Our PLC device shows up on our project tree. And here's the actual PLC here where we can go ahead and zoom in to level 400. Now what we want to do is we want to go and start creating our program. So what we are going to do is expand the folder for pro program blocks. And we are going to double click on the main program. A little tag will develop down here and this page should disappear. Alright, now we are in our programming workspace here and we want to create just a very very simple program so what we're going to do is we are going to click on an input what they refer to as an examine if open con normally open contact if you're coming from the Allen Bradley world that's referred to as an examine if closed contact and we're going to grab an output and that puts it puts it out right here so now what we want to do is we want to create a name for this Okay, and the name that we want to create for this is going to be tied to the actual PLC device that we're using. So in this case, we're going to be using the Siemens trainer. We, we want, want to, to tag, tag this input to, to this green normally open contact, contact right, right here, and, and the address is located right below here. Okay. It's an input, it's a slot one, and it is wired up to terminal zero, which is shown underneath here. Okay? So, we're going to just identify this as left green push button and hit enter. And you'll notice that it comes up with an underlying red right here that is letting you know that it has not been defined yet. Okay, we're going to come here. We want to tie this to let's say our first output out here. So we're going to say left red light. Again, this will be undefined here. So now what we have to do is we have to tag this to the actual input. And there's a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way to do it is to come up here to split screen. And what that does is that puts your PLC program here and the actual PLC over here. So now, watch how easy this is. This is such a cool feature. The green push button is tied to I0.0. So I will grab left green push button and just set it right here. Give it a second. And as you can see, the name has been tagged to this terminal block on the PLC. Then I do the same thing for the left. I come down here, grab this, I'm going to go to Q0.0, .0, drop that in, and your left red light is now tagged to here. I can turn off the split screen and you can see that those addresses have been tagged to the names that we gave here. And it's just as simple as that. I do want to show you one other way to do it that's not in the manual. Um, I'm sorry, this, this particular way is not in the manual. This is, an, this is another way to do it. One other way to do it is I can create another button here, and I'll just name this right green push button. Hit enter. What you can do is you can drag this name down bring it to the PLC here, that will bring the PLC up to here, and I can just drop this here, and it's been tagged. I come over here and open up my, my main OB1 screen, and you can see that input has been tagged to it. 
right? So there's a couple of different ways to tag input and outputs to the their associated a real-world terminal, 